switch on this match. That's normal for them. That's what they like to do. The change being away from the double duelist setup to much more of a mirror. So Jing is going to take on Kang Kang to begin. However, a lot more of this might end up getting decided by the supporting cast. We saw nobody carrying yesterday. Oh, it's forsaken taking point. Orb being taken. Slight peak. Nobody brought down close to the corner. How long? But he's going to get overwhelmed. Very quickly at that. Smoke's dropped down. Carve out a path onto the side, but it's a freebie for them. They'll be able to get the plant down. No questions asked. Both of these teams are going to stay tight, get those trades, which means that the opening duels, like we saw there, Forsaken being able to pick off nobody, that matters so much. It puts you at a player advantage once all the trades are out. We've got this high low setup already. Muto being held the fault line. Just about missing here. Kang Kang, decent damage done on either side here, but. That's a player advantage for Paperex. G gonna be finding themselves hard pressed to really get into it and something. On the stage, big time this time, isn't it? Certainly is. Paperex have got that talent to be able to go toe to toe with EDG. We know that. Pretty explosive pistol around there. I was talking about the supportive cast, and I really feel like while there's a lot of hype surrounding the clash between you know, Jing and Kunk. Jing and Kang Kang and, you know, add something in there as well when he's going to be on Duelist. Maybe even Smoggy once we get to some of the maps where you potentially see them play double Duelist compositions. But so much of this could end up be being decided again. by that kind of supportive cast. Yeah, and you're seeing the supportive utility already with the fault line and the flashes exchanged. They're not shying away. They're not backing away from this fight. Plenty of bodies to be waiting still close to the corner. An absolute repeat of the first round, except this much. Or players actually stacking towards the side here. Kang Kang needs some assistance, but One back towards the side. Yeah, just Chi Chu left alive. So could have been over. Could have been dangerous, but no. no completely bowled over there. That, I mean, that's just Paper X grouping up and being able to trade off each other with better weaponry. With Forsaken moving over to Sky, I really feel like this guy's... The best thing that Forsaken's done for his career is stop playing Chet and Rainer all the time and really broaden his horizons, become the flex player that this team needs alongside Divai. They kind of swap the roll around between them, and they're both excellent. No, I couldn't agree more. It's added so much more in terms of compositions that they can play. Aberex are just going to barrel through Tree here as well. Yeah, there won't be much resistance. Oh, you say barrel through, it would be a slight little walk. Yeah, no noise made. Definitely thought this was going to be a bit quicker. Oh, this is... Okay, so this looks like they're going to set up for a double blast back into Canteen. Something likes going into Tunnel so that he has an Aftershock and Stun line up here. So this is to help Jing get deep into Canteen and put there pressure on these players. Made in the back. Fault line to set it up, but it's a counterplay. Smoggy. Well done. Immediately sends out the Fault line and the Aftershock, so reclaiming that space towards Canteen, but the smoke's dropped down. Nobody's still standing it. Straight down, he's got the help of his team as well, out towards the smoke. Crossfire set of EDG are definitely winning this one out now. Well, the player red. standing, something. It's a 1v3 now, it's made it a bit more doable. One flash available, they know exactly where he is, you can see them just doubled up. Want to take the peak in the timing. And yeah, you're seeing it immediately, the precision on point. That's one of the classic Paper X plays that they pull out on Fracture. So they have the Aftershock and Stun line up for a double blast pack play deep into Canteen. The idea being that most of the time, teams, if they're playing the standard retake kind of setups on B, they're going to be holding towards Generator there or deep in this position where Smoggy is. But EDG are actually holding so far back. You saw Smoggy using his fault line really far away to catch all of that aggression. Really good awareness. And I think that's exactly what you're going to need to be able to beat Paper X. Now, am I really seeing Devai go for a glass cannon Vandal? <laughs> no armor on Devai. He's bought the Vandal instead of going for, you know, Bulldog armor or something like that. I think that's a bit of a taste test, honestly, of what we might be expecting with this. A lot of the gunfire exchanged on either side here. And again, it's really the same approach. Towards drop. Almost every single round in a row essentially has been going into this direction, but it's where Paper X have found their success. Once more, vacant sight. Flash sent in deep here. A lot of damage being exchanged on either side, but finally a kill. Smoggy, who will fall. Planted. Still with this hold here, though. Kang Kang close. Flash. Missing to the side here, but doubled up. They're going to bring down the players who are just trying to hold on the walls. On the flank as well. Chi Chu falling down. How long forced to save, really? $300. Do much more with it with the rifle. Does he still want to make a go of it? I mean, players are weak. 
He's gonna prod, but he's gonna get pushed. I mean, Forsaken's round the corner with a flash from something. Yeah. Both of them being oh, used. No yo. way! What? What is that from Odon? Three spray down. How have they all lined up? Major error in terms of spacing, but is there enough time now? It's brutally ticking. Down, he's gonna get onto it. He I think he's missed it. it. He's missed the timing. But he has taken all four players down I'm as well. well. There's a silver lining into that round itself. What on earth was that? Don't count these players out. That is very reminiscent of one of the moments that we saw when EDG were playing against Giants. Just how exactly did they? I mean... One enemy yeah, remaining. I wow. mean, every player just catching a bullet lined up there. Nobody going for the wide swing. Nobody really pausing to try and tuck in a trade. Right here. It hasn't done that much damage even to the economy though, especially because EDG themselves are going to get knocked down. So there's another chance for Paper X to build their bank back up. At some point here, EDG need to be able to counter what's happening. Paper X are grouping four players up. They're playing a lot of 4-1, which is a little unusual on Fracture. Although you do see teams go for it. And they're just looking for a, a tiny bit of information to give the cue on when they want to pop. Oh, you two being used again. I mean, it's just a repeat of the prior rounds. It's very contact. Walking it? all the way through. I've got your trail. Is the Seeker's going to be used to let them put into the site once more. Does clear. No, they've lost control of A-Halls. Seeker's have to be broken. The post plan positioning isn't ideal yet. Going to have to see Paper X really make an active effort to clear. That's what the Trailblazer is now, following up through onto it. It's a backstab, though. Curring, Devi is going to be right behind them when this attempt comes through, but it's happening fast. EDG, wasting time of it. Dash forwards by Kang Kang, lovely shot. It's that one almost instantly. Time being waited by Devi. He's leaving it wide open. He's moving himself onto the side here, and he's taking a fight to them with the orbital strike to buy a bit of extra time. Halls looking the map ever so slightly, but smoked off onto the angles. They don't know. They are really quite weak. Getting ran down by the weapons, and it's still mind freaking Devi. Half on it. Not quite. Nobody. Trying to make the most of that. Amidst the border chaos, still 4 to 1. Paper X getting a resounding lead. There is some danger in a couple of these rounds, but nevertheless, Paper X persevere and they prevail. One enemy remains. Ah, that's a moment there where Chishu just reckons that Halls is open. He's diving for a weapon. He just leaves himself completely open to mind free. EDG are going to take a tactical timeout here, and this one must result in some kind of answer. It's not like we're super deep into Fracture yet. There's a lot of time for them to be able to turn the ship around. But it is firmly heading in the wrong direction for Edward Gaming currently. They can't figure out how to stop this. And it's a really interesting style from Paper X. They're grouping up, usually with that four that I was talking about, contacting into areas and waiting to pop. Usually you'll see teams exchange utility at the beginning of rounds, trying to push people away from angles, make sure that they can get into position and earn that exec space that they need to then burst into the site. And Paper X are just wandering up. If they run into any kind of issues, they're so happy just being able to trade out effectively or win the duel. Take a page out of Giants' book, honestly, with the amount of preparation they were doing in that prior game. Think yep. about it, Giants, when they were getting it going, and keeping an eye on the economy, right? Knowing when the ops could be purchased by Can Can because you know Edward Gaming are going to be playing. I think they buy it like 40% of the time, if not more. Well, it's a good point because Can Can has it right now, and this is one of the first rounds where he even could have got it on board. Yeah. So does this introduce a difference in pace from Paper X? Are they going to send this one thick and fast, using tons of utility to take the space? They're over by halls. We'll have a look. There it is, Satchel. The stun, showstopper on top of it. Nobody's just going to scurry out of it close to the corner. Rockets let loose. Enforcements have arrived. Plenty of players here ready to receive, but with the Rolling Thunder, they're not set up for anything. They can't hold their grounds, can't fire the shots off. The stuns are very good. Kang Kang, let's lose the Blade Storm. He's taking a boatload of damage. Have to respect it and back away. It's the same game plan, Brian. It really is. It's rinse and repeat, just taking what Giants did against EDG and using it again. As soon as Kang Kang can have an operator, they used an ult to take halls instead Hall's of contact. Right. What is that? An EDG 
Really punishing the poor spacing. Bring it to the 1v1 though. Haodong, he's low. Dubai, the reposition is good, but still, information granted to him. Got to get a move on, and Dubai. Red Bull clutch for him. He knew he had the advantage there, could just hold his ground. It's another one of these rounds where it's close, but it's no cigar. It's not, it's not a round victory at the end of the day. It's another Red Bull clutch. Nice play though. I love the opener. Great usage of space from Paper X. The danger comes here with Jishu being able to get a spray down and Haodong flinging himself around the corner too. A little reminiscent of some of the times where we've seen, like you said, the spacing be an issue. But other than those mo big moments from individuals, it's all been Paper X. And EDG's economy's broken again. And you're gonna see them again resorting to the same plays. They just contact dish contact every dish. time Kang Kang doesn't have an off. They can go for some kind of stun or flash play, but they're too late. Yeah, close to the corner. This time, not going to get caught out. How long has been playing there? Multiple rounds in a row. It's Kang Kang who pays the price of it. Nobody inside the smoke, but Spike planted. not going to be able to deny the plan. Not going to be able to do too much of all. Free clearance into drop while so all this is happening as well. But yeah, flash to set it up still. Shots landing for Haodong, doing some damage, dropping down. It's a bit messy, a bit scrappy yet. It's all cleaned up here. Paper X are making this just look clean, clinical, whatever you want to call it. They're wiping the floor with EDG. This next one, a really important rifle round again. Maybe some opportunity for EDG to get back in the game. But this feels a little like the last time these two teams faced on Fracture, except the opposite way around. EDG at that point were storming ahead on their defensive side and then let a massive lead 11-4 slip away through their fingers. I think you'd rather be in that spot, at least where your fate's in your own hands. Here's a Kang Kang, operator, launching towards B main. Set up on the line, but immediately moving away. He's got to be fluid with it with the reposition, but it is harder to op. If you think about it, the defense side of Fracture, four right avenues. There. It's just dish again, Brett. Yeah, it's just it's, dish again. Listen, I, this it, is a massive hole in EDG's defense. And they're just able to contact up every single time. We've seen the weaknesses. Stun connecting fault line as well. Doubly sure of it. What a shot. But still, Chichu will hold on. Flash is good. All being supported inside the smoke, bringing them down. Paper X. Just the heroics as well, the anchoring player, Chichu has done so much for them. Rolling Thunder onto the side, it was a tap to bait that out, Forsaken. Dodges it. Off to the side, Flash. Not there, Ooh. Dubai, Util out, does he still want to take this fight? Well, EDG definitely do. Wouldn't that one out, but fantastic by Chichu. A little fortunate too though, perhaps, I would say. I mean, it's nice putting your Killjoy in the site, but he has to hit that shot. Yeah. Otherwise, he goes down, the rest of Paper X are able to enter the site, and things are getting real sticky again for Edward Gaming. That's a moment of heroics there, anchoring, hidden the exact stunned headshot just oh. when it was required. And just when you're seeing the defensive adjustments, finally, Kang Kang with the operator, looking over to where they've been contacting all the time. Uh, Paper X want to go in a completely different direction. Brutal. to be. And that's uh, it's what the point I was trying to make earlier, you know, Fractured, there's four avenues on the defense side you have to keep an eye on to. It does limit the amount that you can really watch with an operator. Contact plays if you, you should run. spot out where the off is playing. Plenty of other directions you can go into, but look at this, yeah. Spectacular shot again. I'm almost not surprised when I see him hitting things like that now. Here's almost. Down. Yeah, almost. Should be taking that breath away. Oh. Rose getting used to it. Paper oh. X making the go of it into the spawn. Kang Kang's ready though. Here with the rest of the team once more. On the mob towards that spawn area. They haven't actually got the plant down. They don't have B main control forcing them out wide with the aftershock. Trying to swing to help out. There's nobody there. Flash, good connection. Jing staying alive though. Spike planted. Now finally the plant is down. They need to win out one of these fights. Nobody. Winning that towards B main is massive. Paper X is going to start to feel the squeeze and more so something. It's going to have to go huge. Close to the corner, lockdown finally earned. Almost lined up for it, but nine health. Last player left facing him. Those are the fuse here. So EDG, adjustments being made. And key duels being won by nobody. I'm not a fan though of Paper X pushing into the spawn there. The lockdown came through, they had the site for free. Sure, they're in a 4v5, but they have 
areas of the map that they still control. Arcade, yeah. for example. I'd much rather see them try and fight towards tree in the post plant than try and stuff things into spawn here. It's just such awkward angles for them to fight. Into an off. Which, granted, they didn't 100% know the Kang Kang had repositioned there. And strangely enough, with Paper X being ostensibly halls here, all five players from Paper X, and EDG, because Paper X have just been hitting A repeatedly, are stacking four players there. And here's a showstopper once more. I mean, as soon as he's got the ultimate, but here we go, fault line with the orbital strike. Exchange of it, damage being done. Look at how weak Paper X are, but it's a heal for Forsaken. Oh. Not quite. He was on five HP and he got wall banged with an op. Talk about Kang overkill. Kang doing that? I mean, look at the positioning of Kang Kang. He's immediately going back to the rest of his team here. Nade up towards them. Paper X not slowing down this hit. They want to take it full force all the way through with the rifles. The blink of an eye, you will miss it. Kang Kang has to respond straight behind. Going for the repeat, but punished. There was so much going on there. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Kang Kang hit that shot. Was it an updraft on top of the box? Is there a replay for that? I, I think it was. I mean, there's so much that you could potentially catch in a replay. Here it is, but, yeah. Was he yeah. updraft on the box? <laughs> he's, he's left to handle B all on his own and did a great job, but the rest of the team couldn't stop what was happening in halts. They had a stun off contact that ended in a brim ultimate. That's a really classic play to try and maintain halts control. And Paper X is so fast, they got past it anyway with Jing. He just opens up space for Paper X like you wouldn't believe. Fighting dish this time. time. Yeah, you got to try and put them off of trying to fight this all the time, but don't have the guns for it. On the side here, that jiggle. Does Mind Freak see it with the shoulder? Double face. Devai does need to be bailed out. How is Kang Kang aware enough to be thinking about where Devai could peek from too? On a swarm. Rebounded on something. Devai still here. Really testing the patience of Kang Kang. He hits that shot. Still an angle open. Nobody oh. cannot land it. He needed one there. One to the head would have done it. He had it on a platter. Paper X still haven't cleared out. Side, planted. but the plan is theirs. Kang Kang popped his blade storm. He wants this. There's two rounds left. He's got to do something about it. Lovely flick. The adjustment to land that. Knows that one of the errors isn't clear, but he's brought it to the two versus two. Now just needs to play him and Chichu. Up trap. Oh. Right click. <laughs> Great clearance down to low web and mind freak. Once more, say pair of hands. Last line of defense of that. Last round before the switch. I mean, the story of Fracture so far to me, Bren is that EDG try to rescue themselves from sticky situations. And Paper X are always just there at the end. The heroic moments that we've seen frequently end in Mind Freak or Devi just closing the round out anyway. And all of the heroics from EDG go to naught. Paper X have had great openings and great closings to almost all of these attacking rounds. They are just essentially avoiding B in its entirety. They throw it in the mix every now and then, but it's perfect conditioning. There was, there was a flash at the start of this round. I think they know that there's a lot of players over towards Dish. They certainly will now that they hear flashes and boom bots coming from that direction. So once more, Kang Kang just holds down B on their own, and they're trying to stack A into the spawn. That's a connection onto two of the players. The movement from Jing. They are really just putting the hurt on them right now. EDG, they have the crossfire set of us once more. Flash is dodged, Forsaken. Alive. Lovely up. movement though. Spike down A. Spike cleans it up. Left to Devi as well. He was the late lurker. He's trying to take up halls. And now, a little bit too much to do here for the final round of this first half. Finally, the four player stack from EDG looks like it's going to work. But an 8 4 half is a disaster. Devi's going to try and make this one even worse. Twist the dagger. If he could pull off a 1v3 in this kind of situation, be unbelievably brutal. 30 seconds left. Surely Kang Kang is good for it here, holding the angle, Dang. misses the shot. He does miss it. Devai, five found, nine bullets left though. So much more to do, Kang Kang. An absurd shot again. Yeah, I mean, he hits it with such consistency. And yet, that's only resulted in four rounds. He's 12 and nine. It feels like he's playing incredibly with the op, but Paper X is beginning to these rounds. Their game plan has just twisted Edward Gaming into loops. It certainly has, yeah. 
Yeah, well, let's, uh, that's it for the first half. Let's send it down. We listened in to Devi a little bit earlier. Obviously, we are very happy with our performance, I would say, because I think coming to these tournaments, we are quite pressured because a lot of maybe like fans or like public eyes is like expecting us to do well with our original roster because we played with a sub before, right? So, yeah, I mean, like, definitely a great feeling starting the opening matches against crew. I mean, we are kind of like careful with them because like we saw their past matches that they've been playing really well in the FCQ matchup and yeah I mean we didn't expect to 2-0 them I think for me personally I think I was expecting to to one them instead of 2-0 so yeah I mean definitely not expecting easy games Divine a 1v3 and once the again the possibility that they don't know Davies from trying to find the space to blow oh, he's dropped out onto Melser Davies is gonna have to get half he's gonna stick it he's gonna try to stick no he pulls off and Divine <laughs> Probably we kind of have to stop the do this. Much highly anticipated rematch. And yet at the moment, Paper X are dominating it. EDG are going to have to come out with some great ideas and some sick individual form to be able to bully their way through. You're and there's going to be fight. a huge clash of truth. Yep, the barriers fall. G waited out just for a moment, but Util's still good for it. How long? Tucked to the corner there. Flash. Try and take back that space once more. It's a squeeze from the bottom of it. Damage being done right through the box. It don't stand a chance. The spike is theirs. Well earned prize. Choo choo. Yeah, he was a solo player there. Pistol round for Paper X. It's nine to four. And you're really seeing evidence, I think, you know, what, what the vibe was talking about in that piece at the half of where you know, these guys are scrim partners, they understand each other's play styles inside and out. But, you know, this is a Paper X that is now back up to that full strength. They're coming with new ideas. They're not playing that neon comp that they did before. No, true. Very and true. They have a very clear idea of how to. Uh, essentially dismantle the way that EDG are playing so far Master on this map. Class, I feel like it is. I agree. It is a masterclass being showcased now for Paper X. They're demonstrating a slower style too. While their attack rounds were explosive once they got to the site, they were adding in the contact he play, which is just bamboozling Edward Gaming. And this just looks like they're going to feed themselves into the more at this point. Yeah. Gonna be a bunch of kills, tasty kills at that. Who wants the ult orbs? Building up the ults, Jing. Not far away from it. Showstopper's gonna be a big tool here, and that is, yeah. Very healthy bonus round to come into here now. EDG in their press conference after they played against Giants said that they were playing at about a five out of 10. Which is absurd if you watch that match and you see how well they were popping off individually in 4Ks all over the place. But, I feel like they struggled in that game to deal with the change of pace of their opponent. We're dealing with something that was specifically countering them. How do they want to adapt? What do they want to do that was different? And today, at least on map one, it is more of the same. And this time, they don't have that form advantage. Paper X are shooting back, arguably even harder than EDG are. Is this a flash of a Lampot contact? <laughs> I thought he was going to jump up as well. Would have been a ludicrous play. Maybe just a condition. I mean, that one flash is used, and you've seen the immediate rotation of something. Treat him back over towards B. Players grouped up towards tower. EDG are finding it hard to just poke and get an idea and feel of where these players could be. In the meantime, Paper X cleared out A holes completely. And now Devi's going looking towards Dish too. He's going to be meeting nobody. Devi has got a fall here, and Devi he doesn't. Devi wins that fight with a Spectre? Yeah, that's just so rough for EDG. If they wanted any chance of being able to get back into this game, it had to be starting with the Killjoy pick that opened up the A site. Oh, they're losing all the fights. I mean, Paper should be favored with the rifles. They are just running them down. Kang Kang, no more time wasted. The updraft and the dash to try and clear out towards the site here. Needs his team to follow suit though. Util is really bogging him down. Five versus three. Plan. Could go off here, but the aftershock is pushing him wide out into the position immediately. Taking back Hall's control. Clearing it together. Jump spot is punished. The Liang of a smoggy. Flash dodged. Still watching for it though, and he's got no backup. Not winning these fights. And it is dire straits right now. Dire circumstances. Kang Kang. What can you do? No safety, no to stand. Paper X are just playing an incredible game currently. 
Uh, they take two duels there, just swinging with Spectres. Divine and Forsaken delete the other players on EDG. And then when they need to close the round out, they're so grouped together. They allow no openings for EDG to split them off into 1v1s and somehow pull a clutch out. Picked up again by, by uh, the other players. Certainly looks like that at the moment. Uh, I mean, nobody is getting crunched currently and has just got to evacuate. Paper X control the entirety of the north side and they're already back Reaction. to try and contest. Yeah, through B main is cleared out. It's not going to be any util to really slow them down once Nano Swarms fade away up towards Tower though. Mind Freak. Did you here alone. It was one for one. Plant is theirs. Positioning as well. Clearing and taking control towards B main once more. Splitting up a little bit. Maybe because Jing does have the showstopper. Trailblazer. Towards Arcade, and no, nobody's there. Still Kang Kang towards Tower. He's going to be taking first contact. Crosshair placement wasn't good for it initially, yet still he survives and gets the one. Finally, the team have an out. Watching from main. A lot of health left to him. Forsaken. A little bit too much to do, honestly, in this instance. Realizes it himself. Impossible to win that one, so backing away, just making sure that he keeps the gun, but might not even get to do that. The flash is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's he gone away with that? And he survives. Wait, Nobody going down. Nobody goes down uh, as well? That's quite important. Yes, EDG, they get around on the board, but you needed to keep the guns intact because the money's not looking too good. It's not that sharp. It's not going to punish them too badly in this round, and they kind of just need to win everything anyway, so nobody's going to get away with that mistake, as is Smoggy. Well, that's a big round carried mostly by Kanka, being able to get the entry that his team needed. It is such a long way back, though, if he wants to take his team to a victory here on Fracture. We've seen enormous comebacks between these two squads before, but it was the other way around. Here we go, making usage of the show, stop at the turret, peppering. Same thing again, though, they crunch the south side, yeah. player disappears. All the way across the ropes here, and an instant reaction from EDG. It is the same, but flipped, essentially. Man should be able to go down here. Better retake positions, however, from Paper X. Ah, and an aftershock as well. So then plan for but a moment. Gives them a bit of time here. Seekers push forwards. Not all of them broken. It's going to give some decent information here to Paper X. Oh, where the players are and standing. Kang Kang. Also, to really make a go of it. And it's more than that at this point. Two kills. Blaze Storm refreshed. Teammates feeling just empowered entirely. <laughs> they have shut this one down. Beautiful. That's a highlight round for the ages. That looks like pre-nerf jet. Paper X is going to take a timeout here. Kang Kang's had two back-to-back -back rounds, where his individual prowess has carried EG to EDG to the finish line. One of these shots. Right-click on Mind Freak as well at the end. Incredible performance there from Kang Kang. Opens up both of the rounds and closes that one out. He's made this a little closer. Especially with Paper X's economy being slightly damaged here. They've got a serious decision on their hands of whether or not to invest into the next. <laughs> I think that's what he'll be telling the rest of the team. They look like they need a bit of a confidence increase at the moment. We know that the EDG players are talented. It's not just Kang Kang and friends. But at the moment, we're not really seeing that from the rest of EDG. They're getting outclassed. Respect being shown with the time I'm being called, though. But yeah, it is outclassing. But you'll just, I mean, look at it one round at a time. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not sure how much input Coach Alex can even have about how the previous round went down. The way that Kang Kang was taking those fights, there's not too much opportunity to trade. He's diving around all over the place. Maybe just concerned that his team keeps crunching, keeps going for these aggressive pushes at the beginning, but to be honest, it looks like they're set up for another one. Got double initiator on one side, trying to keep EDG trapped in spawn, and then Jing flying at them for through halls. Slower though this time. Yeah, Stimmy will allow them to evade that stun. It's coming their way, flash. So going to be avoided here. Not obfuscating the fact that they have just trundled up towards B main here. Now a swarm behind. Slowing it down now in the mid round. That's what EDG have 
really learned from a lot of their experience at these international events, actually. The ability to really just slow down those moments, take the space, poke and prod, force people out into the open. Oh, I thought they were going to go for a contact play there. Would have been very impressive, but I think without them making too much noise, and with this Trailblazer, uh, sorry, the Guardian Light clearing over towards Arcade, I don't think Paper X are going to be buying this fake towards B. I think Haodong has just used two smokes for nothing. Jing, going to try and stop this! The Onslaught coming his way, and he does succeed at that. Two players falling, there's a stun to try and catch the Vi, who was helping him out, but door closing shut in their face. It's now very obvious, EDG. A bit of a breather. Shishu just got locked down. Is there any chance he's got time to be able to use this? There's only 30 seconds, seconds left. Has to commit it, really. He this does. is going to go down to the wire. But the trouble is, the more time you're wasting, fucking a bit dire. Got to get themselves in. Maybe they use Smoggy Soul off the tail end of it to try and get themselves in. Brutal. Did you fall? Smoke's now fading. Five seconds. That will go down here. Detainment close to the corner here. Fight's still going to be taken, but it's just one player. Yeah, Smoggy. So, so much more to do, hasn't he? An open sightline out towards Maine. He can't win it. It's forsaken. And Paper H just feel, I mean, so many layers ahead right now. In terms of just the game plan. It feels like adjustments are still being made by EDG. Coming into it with, with good ideas of how they want to play, but... Too little, too late. Too little, too late, yeah. And also, even when we're talking about the quality of the ideas, I'm not a big fan of the fake that had on that. EDG love to throw a fake in, you know, one or two times per map, something like that on their attack side. And this time, they didn't actually throw enough utility to make it seem real. They just popped down the two smokes, one a canteen, one a generator. And then Forsaken's in tower, listening, can't hear anything. Flash towards Arcade, didn't see anything there. Too obvious that everything was coming towards Jing in that moment. And this looks like a clash potentially to end it all but as Paper X try and batter their oh, way through. Classic play from Jing, but actually punished. Almost. Loves to go for the double satchel movement. Nobody doesn't realize how close he was to <laughs> hitting the grave there. Yeah, potentially falling. It's a beautiful opener. Good beginning. Trailblazer scoping out. Seeing that the site's relatively clean. Something with just a one. She chew. It's a little bit labored, but no, eventually getting onto it. So two players left standing here. I mean. Really no chance of a retake. Forsaken's only got the judge with Mindfreak falling. He's going to be opting to see if he can get a better gun. There it is. It's worth saving here as well. You look at the Paper X economy, and they only need a single round to close this out. They've had six opportunities. It's going to go down to five. But at some point, they're going to get big ultimates up that will make this really difficult for EDG to end with a plant. I mean, any time you have Orbital Strike, Rolling Thunder, Showstopper, like these ults are incredibly good on defense side of Fracture. One of the reasons why this composition gets played quite a lot. EDG are going to have the work cut out for them. They need more of the same. Of the same. They've got themselves to seven. Now has to be five more rounds in a row. A chance to get it to OT. Planted. It's a bit more difficult as well from this point on. The ultimates are going to start to get really built up, flowing a bit more. Paper X are currently sitting on their rolling thunder. They've got the lockdown as well. Money they, is... They're going to force? tight. I mean, it's a weird buy, right? It's, um, you know, it's not that bad of a buy. They've got two bulldogs, three rifles. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, so they are investing into it. Puts even more importance onto it, even though, I mean, every round has to be must win for EDG at this point. Slow siege down onto Chishu, but not the fast crunch. Doesn't give him any timings to zip away on the rope. EDG playing that 4-1 and contacting through Dish. Very similar to what Paper X did. The difference being this alarm bot they're about to run into. It will catch him. So they choose to use the utility a little further Hello. back. Hello. Oh, out Chishu. towards it. Yeah, the Trailblazer are actually connecting. It's only one player. I mean, it's just Jing close to the side. Nade flushing Chichu out. Not going to take a clean fight. Orbital Strike blinded up, something lucky to survive here. Smoke's going to be fading in just a moment. Will he hit the shot? Enough damage done. Certainly bring it down, these targets, and this is it. The
And he's got to find value with the fade. I mean, same thing for Haodong too. But here comes a clash. It's a classic. Led by Jing. Yep, it's the flashes all the way. You can see it. Jing is there. Ready for it though. Contacting through. It's Eeyore. I mean, all EDG. Kill feet. It's filled up with red. Went awesome stuff brawl. from Kung Kung. Yeah. Must want to clear out towards the smoke. So we're able to get the plant down here. Spike. Got to play into this round yet still. Something. He's alive and kicking. Dash is there, but he doesn't actually see any players. Yeah. Very diligent. With the clearance, just onto the corner. Something sticking to the fuse. Needs to be covered, but gets off of it. A little bit too much. Weak. A lot of damage being done as well. Yeah, pushing them out of position, though. Nobody's got the cross here. Yeah, something too much to overcome. So a great start from EDG. They win the fight as both teams just walked into each other over towards A main. Partly because Gang was able to get so much value done. I think he bought the uh, classic and the half armor in that round, which ended up being fairly important, to be honest. Just hit a right click and was able to survive with enough health still to have impact in the fight. This battle between Kung Kung and something has been so anticipated. We didn't quite get to see it in its full form in Fracture with something playing Breach as he usually does. But this map <laughs> is often about how you set the Jets up. Very similar kind of clash here again into A main as Jing really leads the charge something instead taking the Sheriff for a walk in mid. And yeah, not hiding the intent of it. Big rotations away. I mean, well, no scope does the job. No armor on Jing, so a single shot will do it. And real grand opportunity. See a couple of volts farmed up against some of the weaker players. I mean, if Kang Kang can get these kills, nice. he's three away. Yeah, he's got a great chance of being able to get a Blade Storm online and maybe win a bonus round. He's the player that wants to be trying to take contact. Meanwhile, Smoggy is miles away. And Paper Rex, I mean, are they just intending to die to Spike here? Yeah, it would be the real play here from yeah. behind Smoggy. That's a cheeky angle. Don't really expect that too much. Kang Kang is desperate for these kills now. Once he realizes what's going on, one shot found. Will he tag it? Will he get it? Team stealing all of them. It's prime game and flawless. Have a word with Chichu. <laughs> Have a word. We're building up the blade storm. Control yourself. He's denied the chance of getting that one. Still only two away. And a prime game of flawless. You're never going to be too mad about that. Uh, and there's two attack-sided ult orbs on this map. Wow, missed that one. <laughs> what a play happening behind the scenes. So there's certainly some danger here. Kang Kang's going to start with a Spectre, so maybe not just planning to ult orb farm. It looks like another clash in A main again. Paper X want to fight over B, but that's not where EDG are pushing things. Something on the swing. Yeah. Kind of deletes nobody. the wrong player, to be yeah. honest. Though. I mean, he's going for the player picking up the orb. Kang Kang. Let's collect it. Not fast enough to return with the fire, but something trying to pick up Art again. There was that quick reaction of EDG. That's a bundle that cannot be defended. Yeah, it's ground gained. The Paper X are very quick once more. Smoggy's utility does not watch the flank. It watches mid and then the connector to his missing this. Realistically as well, Mindfree just needs to survive. They don't even know it. No expectations and no awareness! Again, that flank was just creeping up behind them. Two players removed, deleted instantaneously. Smoggy. Not a plan to really for him as well, not when he's just being approached from that direction. So, Paper X, pretty clean win of their own. Four players surviving in this one, but yeah, pretty big misstep, I would say, as well, in terms of the EDG protocols, the way they set that one up. They had no idea. Yeah, I would agree with that one. I mean, that's the responsibility of these two guys right here, Kankan Kan and Chichu. Once they back off into main, they need to be watching and aware that there could be some kind of push through flank. I think had they even had the awareness though, that Phoenix Flash would have done its job. Yeah. And the timing there was very quick from Paper X because they went for an explosive push down B long and nobody could hear. EDG weren't really playing a spread default that was getting info on that side of the map. And now we get another clash. So many of these have gone the way of Paper X. Most of the time, in fact, here we go. Oh, God. And again, it's the flashes. They're so damn good. They're you up. Out on the OTP to the side. Let's get the one. Nobody. Instantly there. Shuts that one down. Divide. Nowhere to run and nowhere to hide.
I got the spike. So finally, EDG end up winning these duels as both teams clash into each other. It didn't look great to open up. Haldong just teleporting straight into an Ana Swarm. But they're able to brawl it out. And maybe this is a sign of better things to come for EDG. On a map where Paper X are excellent, usually. This Jet Phoenix composition has been so good for Paper X. Little pause in the game here just to make sure that nothing funny is going on. You must close out a 4v2. Yeah. They clear our Mind Freak sat towards the back of Balls. Still being used, the Horn actually did not clear him. Ball up as well, granted a chance, an opportunity. It's Mind Freak, they'll jump on it. Soundly, very glad for it, but holds up, Kang Kang. Make sure to clear out that area, something. It's last player left here, threw into the box. I love that, great face. All together there, making sure there's no... No chance really at all for something to get going. Taking a look at the replay, you see Hold on getting away with murder there, to be honest with you. And nobody escapes from the pool to be able to punish Jing. I appreciate also that when they were in the 4v2, you know, they realized that there was a player towards the back there, Mind Freak. And as he swung out, they were expecting the second player from Paper X. There's a lot of respect being shown. They anticipate that these things are normally going to be synced up. Here's another brawl. It's like another team fight happening over really? on the other side of the map. I mean, almost like we're deciding the rounds on coin flips right at the bloody beginning. All that utility is far too good. Old purchased and built up. Jing, he wants even more. Flash is great. Spike it's down. fantastic. Everyone alive and kicking. It's over. On the paper side. It's not even 20 seconds into the round. Yeah, and that was honestly what I was expecting maybe from Fracture. We didn't see too much of it. A lot of gambles in terms of contact plays kicking destroyed. off, but really this has just been brute force at the extremities <laughs> to decide so many of these rounds. To, to bring it back to one of your previous points though, Brent, there's four lanes on Fracture. I mean, there's like a 25% chance, I guess, that they like run yeah. into each other. Here it feels like there's, I mean, there's so, so much more likelihood that they're gonna clash. And Paper X, you know, when they play this composition, they do love to fight over that, that A main orb all the time for a variety of reasons. They can build up Jing's ult. Build up multiple ults as well. Pretty key as well as part of their game plan. But also just helps you take control of the map. You get that on camera. So yeah, another prime game in Flawless at that one. <laughs> I think they're going to get their money's worth today. These rounds are just being yeah. decided so decisively, one way or another. You don't really, I mean, with, with the composition as well, I, I just want to circle back to it. It is a lot slower from EDG when they're playing it, and I feel like they can't fight as effectively over this area. I mean, you don't really have an Astra for, uh, for any sort of like stuns, pulls. You don't have any hard flashes by not running the sky. Yep. You kind of have to take it a bit slower, I think, and try and bait out the response initially before you or jump in. counterpoint, you could stack it with five players. <laughs> Which is what they're doing once more. And look, there's a star at their feet. There's a molly behind them. They're not worried, though. Getting shoved off or conditioned. But they just lose so much info around Obscuring the rest of the map when they do this. Yeah. If this is their answer, you have to go into an A exec very quickly because otherwise, you have no idea what's happening elsewhere. And this time they do have the lockdown, but they've got to be cautious of the flank. There is still that turret and now an alarm bot from Smoggy doing work that really wasn't present in the prior when they got flanked. Launchmats are util. Tend to just really choke them out. Both the Nanosaurs committed to the back of the site, but no one is there. Look at this flank once more. There is an alarm bot. Three players towards Art. Two on the flank. I mean, they are definitely expecting the retake to come through yes, secret they flowers. Are. They Surely. are not expecting flank and art. And they've already used the paranoia towards the back of it as well, looking to try and refight over for that space. To... And Smoke's just kind of cutting up and partitioning out the side. And now it's not planted it's for not them. It's not planted for them. It's flipped on its head. Trailblaze into the back. That stun. There is the connection. Something sticking onto the fuse, but broken through the wall. EDG, they're winning the fights out. There's carnage. No one looking towards the side here. Divai. He's there, top of the wall, 1v2, players are weak, he's done enough damage, 7 bullets spotted it, down to the classics, down to the wire, oh. where's the time? It's not there, <laughs> it's good cleanup. <laughs> but a round win for EDG, an incredible round there, great try from Devai, but it's EDG that end up taking it, there's a couple of crucial moments that I wanted to point out, one of which being Kan Kan actually got the spray through the wall onto something and denied the diffuse from coming through at the beginning. And then Jing's wall ended up helping EDG more than it did anyone else. 
they were able to sneak around the back and kill some of those people. And that's what it means. Passion. Not great for the I EDG economy, okay. but I don't think they're worried about that particularly. A 4-2 lead is so much better than anything they had on Fragile. Set their sights as well. And drag it to that map number three. Here's something with an operator. But here's my here's my problem, Brent, with what EDG's approach is. Now that they're not five person barreling into A main, isn't it obvious for Paper X that they're not A? I mean if you have to take A with five players when they don't hear anything, look how confident something in Mind Freak are of just reclearing this area. They know that there's nobody around. I mean, the only person that's around is nobody. He's going to haunt up in a few seconds. I'm hearing a few giggles of that. You can't. You can't. It's, it's low hanging fruit. Here. Can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Paranoia. so it's a clearance behind the box, Mind Freak. Still alive, actually. The flash did not connect to him, but there's an Ana Swan to try and clear him out. Attention brought towards it. Something. Is he going to help him out? Once more, Dubai is there, but it's traded. Two versus two. Spike. In the hands of Smoggy. Six players died trying to fight over a main control. I mean, it's... Achichi just wanders through an alarm bot. <laughs> Picks it up as his new pet. 30 seconds left. I know mid's contained. At some point here, Forsaken's going to start wondering why the plant isn't going down on A. And that's going to keep Jing fairly oh, rooted Jing's got to know this. I mean, he's got a molly as well to try and deny if he can he's get onto everything. the default spot. If this gets planted close to the corner, really. Ten seconds. Shichu that has to defend it. Ten seconds left. Here it is. Eight seconds left inside the smoke. Great yeah. play. Beautiful by Chichu. He had to defend that space. Leave it to Forsaken, though. Rifle. In the 1v2, already that crossfire setup as well. Chi Chi with a jump spot. Smoggy's there, he's got a turret for one side of it. Great snake bite. And yeah, the fight back from Smoggy. In the moment setups as well. It's what EDG do really well, I think, in just terms of how they play off of each other. When they get into those chaotic scenarios, you can't plan for it. But the communication is rock solid. That's a major moment from Haldong. Divai responded almost immediately and left things down into a 2v2. Uh, Chishu did a great job on the Lurk. Frankly, the Lurk has not been a particularly impactful role with how quickly these rounds have been decided. So it's nice to see the Lurk have been able to find something. Hey, something has an operator. Okay, got that purchase for him. I mean, he already yeah, has the Devi. Blade Storm. <laughs> he has the Blade Storm. Is, it, is there a reason for Divide to only have a Guardian here? When I don't know. They must feel like the operator is a crucial tool to be able to work this defense. Yeah. And Can there's going to be another that. insane clash towards A main again. Kang Kang has a judge. Flash pull, TP past it. How long? He's staring at the floor. Haunt. It's good with the connection, but no kills to be found on either side. Trailblazer, repeat, refight. Jing. He's eager for it. Wants to draw blood and fast to try and push them off and away. Lovely spam onto the corner. They spotted him out. The star was just in time. Paper X put themselves into a 5v4. EDG, though, have the space that they've been hunting for this entire time. So what is the plan B? If you're not going to instantly pivot into an A hit, which is most of what we've seen when they've had lockdown and stuff on board, now that Kankan's Kan's dead and you don't have that entry player, what's plan B? You've won the map control battle at the cost of your star. They're looking to try and hide from the guiding light that's going to flash re-clear this area. Yep. And then re-hit. I like it. It's a cheeky idea. Yeah, except Divide doesn't even have one online. In fact, he's watching mid because he lost control of that, so he's wondering about the flank. As they attempt to re-hit, I mean, it's going to be a slight moment if they're fast enough that Divide won't be there ready and waiting, but they are walking into two players. Nightfall is going to be disastrous for Mind Freak, I think, who's just sat close on this corner. Mind Freak's got to dip inside the smoke here if he has a chance, I feel. Using a horn first, over the top as well, blinded up. No one clears that corner, close! Spamming away, he's got the pistol back out ready for it. 12 seconds, this is a disaster for EDG. Another prime game in Flawless. I mean, these rounds inherently have been so lopsided. I did not think that the round was going to end like that, though. I mean, EDG are hitting with a nightfall. In through... I mean, they paranoia the player close as well. How does Mind Freak find value in that spot? What is that from Jake as well? There's backpedal spraying.
That's a brutal round. But exactly what Paper X needed. Coming straight out of their tactical timeout, they've broken the economy of EDG. These things have been just on a nice edge when it comes to the economy. Because, Here. like you're saying, Brett, the rounds have been blowouts. We haven't had a close round. It's been a weird game to watch and observe here. Ching wants to have a go of it, re-clearing. He can back out without a hold. Blinded himself! Oh. If he didn't do that, I would have spotted him. How long? Oh, he got a watch cheap out. haircut. He's still alive. Look how much space EDG have taken in the meantime. And they have, yeah. Sucked it all up there, straight down into mid. There's nothing watching them. Watch out. They definitely have the guns here. Jim really wants to have another go Same at this. Same thing again! Same thing again. A <laughs> lot of damage being done. At least the, at least this time the flash came from Haldong and not from Jing. Haldong is caught, though. Haldong Look at the flank, side, though, Brent. To dry. Look at all of this space that was gained through mid, back through Waterfall, and, and Smoggy and Kang Kang. Yeah. Look at the map for them. Here's a pit. Cuts off away that A main choke. Night four. Being used with the Seekers. Can't quite follow them as well for any sort of easy kills. Spike Job planted. is left up to Paper X to see if they can contain this. They gotta know. Players could be pushed into these positions, but EDG are just holding the site. There's a lockdown. Any play in mind to try and push this one back? It's not the greatest lockdown in the world. There is some spots to play into. The pit won't be going down as a result of it. And yeah, catching onto Forsaken. And entertainments doesn't look it. They are finding it hard to chew through. Yeah, this and the decision has to be like made, yeah. You have to give it up. When the Vipers pits down and that's now a really good adjustments just in the moment from EDG. Yeah, what a great call. I and mean, how long and nobody survived for so long getting pressured there over towards A main? They cause enough of a distraction for Kang Kang and Smoggy to get all the way through me down through water and flanking around onto the A players. I think Paper X are going to have to make an adjustment there potentially and put Forsaken's Alarm Bot, you know, somewhere deeper towards Last mid if they, if they want to play like this. Now that EDG have found that opening. But how bizarre that we see all of the ultimates invested in this round where EDG didn't have the rifles compared to the prior, where they chose not to go for the nightfall. Smoggy, one away from the lockdown. An awesome offensive tool to keep the momentum rolling for Edward Gaming. All propped up. Chance being led for EDG. Here. To keep this lead all the way through. This is such a naughty angle. Look at that! Oh my, oh my, I believe it was the turret. Oh, that was the turret yeah. finding the other headshot. Baiting us, but... Forsaken and Timmy, both with the headshots. Exactly, and it's disgusting that. I mean, really, just know what to really do, but Kang Kang, he's instantly there with a response once more. Doesn't want to back away. A great answer. Now Mind Freak's gonna get pushed here. He's sat on top of his own alarm bot, so it doesn't even do work for him. Watching! Yeah. From the side here, cleaned up. It's fallen to pieces a bit for Paper X. On the other side of the map here with the operator now aiming to retake. Does have the blade storm, Jing. Placing swap grenade. Oh, this is broken. Flash into the back, playing anti. Kang Kang wins his. Still there though, out into the open. Dubai. That sightline, excellent flash. Pushes them back and away, and it's not planted for these players. EDG have to white face this one. Unconventional, really unorthodox to miss from something. Dubai is left alone here, and no time really to do so. Great snake bite. Even if Dubai wanted to, he could not stand his ground there. Beautiful work. Edward Gaming really starting to flex their muscles here. Both teams looking strong on the opponent's map pick after making a compositional change. I'm not convinced it's necessarily the comp, though, that's getting EDG across the line here, but I mean, they are hitting some nice shots. This one, of course, from the opposite side, but Kankan Kan goes down and just instantly entries and opens up B for them. All of the good work that Forsaken does at the start with the cheeky spots kind of peeking through the turret's legs, undone in a moment. More A main fights. It's like they're doing a drill. Yeah, but this time it's Paper X who just waited out, bait the util, and now they want to strike back almost immediately. A flash forwards, it's catching, but there was a smoke in the way. Nobody didn't get blinded from that one. He's able to return the fire, bring down Ching. Something's been healed back up. And in the meantime, Forsaken's watching mid. So that's a big difference compared to where he had his utility last time Paper X decided to fight for AMA. And you saw the Lurk plays coming all the way through. He can pull back his alarm bot. 
as Paper Rex take a look over towards Art. And that allows Forsaken a little bit of the freedom just to jump spot B long as well. So Paper X have some pretty good information right now, but they must still be wondering where EDG are. West of EDG just kind of regrouping to eventually hit down towards what is the weaker site. It's looking like a retake. Mindfreak does have the Cosmic Divide for this one, so not going to be hard pressed about it, but... The Lockdown's just a great tool here, I think. Yeah. You know, it does allow Paper X the chance, though, to get close and try to play potentially to deny this plant from going down. Or at least to play a very fast retake. Oh, back into the corner here, they're spamming down. All of it, Forsaken though, is cleaned out towards back court. So still a flank attempt by something. He's right behind him now. Should be able to get a sight line onto one of the players. Yep, Smoggy caught to the corner, but he wants to play his live. No! Out to the side there, Chichu. If he could receive it. 200 APM from something. Really making sure that they are clearing every perceivable angle. Left up to Smoggy, and yeah, not a chance there. So yes, the lockdown, it did clear out a large portion of the site there, but it made it glaringly obvious with something already flanking that they could just yet. Again, get a flank going as well, as soon as the plan starts happening. It's also a bit of a, a time factor there too. Paper X realized that it had to be a V here, because there's only 20 seconds left. They're able to rotate everyone over, even if the lockdown was one enough. enemy remaining. Hidden story here that we haven't been talking too much about. Something kind of struggling to have impact in terms of his fragging potential. There's been a few moments at this point where I've seen him with an op and, you know, miss a shot or have a rifle, have Bladestorm, have some opportunity to have impact. And we really just haven't seen him stepping up in the same way that Kanka has. He's been missing ever so slightly. He did, say, he did say yesterday that he was a little nervous when he first stepped onto the stage. He said he was shaking for the first six or so rounds and relied on Alex and his teammates to kind of pick those nerves back up. You've got to remember he's a rookie. Now they're broken. Again, that flash reclearance. Kang Kang way off the mark with the smoke here, but it is an attempt through Art. Three players there. Smokes are being laid down slowly, steadily. Jing, fast, instantly there. And again, that flash is so damn good. It's a connection and a refight. All confidence from them. The spike has dropped into the middle of nowhere. Pushing contact in through main. Kang Kang, he's found a timing and an angle here. Util out in the hands. Flash, it's still good. Updraft though, there's no punish inside. Kang Kang is still alive and kicking. Spam through. Can't land it, can't connect it. It's all to buy. Seven to five. In the half, damage control really Looking for Paper X. That's what it felt like on either side. It's been a weird half at that. It certainly has been a strange half of Valorant. We've seen clashes all over the place. And Paper X, desperate to try and hold on with those final two rounds. Excellent round from Jing and Divine to find the value and close things out. <laughs> <laughs> Any lip readers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, very quickly here, pistol round beginnings. So what have EDG got cooked up with this composition on defense? Something Kang Kang looking like they might clash in art. It's a turret to take contact here, even if Kang Kang doesn't spot them, but he can hear them. That's why the dash is there, and the right click's doing enough for it. Paranoia actually colliding with him. It's Haodongs. There's safety in numbers, and plenty of them here. Four players just all ready to try and collect something. And I love this call from Haldon. Gonna go and re-explore through A main, yeah, looking to try and catch the other half of this split. It's really nice. Not gonna find anybody, but it's lovely information to work exactly. with. Exactly, and you can even keep a player here if you choose, or you can just really commit to the flank. Spot it out, Divide catches it. Are they gonna smoke the turret? I mean, the turret, I think, ended up getting broken. Yeah, broken or anyway, anyway. Divide. Danger here, but there's only one player to meet him. It's him versus Kang Kang. Divide was actually eager to take that fight, pushed forwards past it. The reaction from Paper X already taped onto the site, trying to spam into the smokes. But again, TDG are so rapid on the approach here. They've got all the player advantage and leave it up to just Forsaken. He can't do it. But against that. Great idea seeing, from EDG I over mean, in Art. It's the evidence, honestly, that international experience that EDG have got now, where they make these in the moment calls in the mid rounding that are just pure excellence. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think they their first set play, the little trap that they have, and the paranoia that's designed to allow Kan Kan to get out instead of actually go for more is lovely. But I don't understand exactly what Paper X were doing with smoking the turret. They, they bloomed a smoke on turret that wastes one that Mind Freak has available. He couldn't smoke off flowers as a result, and they also didn't contact past him. 
Maybe a bit of communication error happening there in the pistol round on the audible. That can happen when you have five IGLs on the team. <laughs> or none. I can't exactly remember which it is. It's, it's kind of a mixture. I mean, Forsaken sometimes takes the lead, but it's it's a bit more spread out. Everybody contributes. A paper Very base. Are going all the way through. Yeah. Looking like a snake just making loops around mid. No fear at all. You wouldn't think they're on the yeah. Cobra. Here we go. Fully grouped up now with five. This paranoia is going to get incredible value. There it is. Contacts caught near sighted up, but already the weapons are good. SMGs. Beam them all down. Bring them all down. Plant stuck. So a bit of extra money. No chance to win the round, though. EDG. Now leading. Quite a significant margin. All the guns are intact. The bonus is going to be nice. Prime game in Flawless. Said that a lot. <laughs> we certainly have. Yeah, this is set up to be very interesting this second half. You've got Kang Kang picking up the bonus round operator as well. So the buy is going to be really interesting. I love it when people do this, honestly. Jet players or whatever. Operate on a bonus round. I mean, you almost come to expect it, I think, if you're going up against Kang Kang. You have to always be checking the money to see if you can buy it. But For sure. It's, uh, it can often catch people off them. guard. It's fairly I'm likely that you're going to be able to, you know, save it if things go disastrously wrong at the beginning or get a Blade Storm online if you do end up popping off. I think there's potential here. No one meets him, though. Yeah, and they've actually left him the entirety of the A site. This is something that EDG have been doing a ton of recently, is stacking four players defensively on one side of the map and leaving the other just to Kang Kang. Haodong's going to spot that out, though, and surely that brings nobody back. Oh, my. He's moving forwards here. He's trying to hold this down as well with the paranoia, but there's a smoke in his way. Something's there. Team at his back. They've given so much space. All there, and a shot missed. Going wide here for Kang Kang. Back up onto the angle, but again, has to respect it and back away from the util being used. That needs to go down, updraft. Almost watching the high ground position. Something though, looked himself forwards. Catches the one towards the back here. Nobody here. will fall. Two versus three. At some point, you have to consider maybe saving or not. Smoggy, what he got the kill. Spotted out another player. Nana Swarm. There, flash. Excellent. Isolating them and forsaken and divide. Brilliant work from them. Paper X completely countering the idea there from EDG. There was certainly some danger still injected in there. You take a look at how they're able to entry, and it's, you know, it's only Haodong with barely a weapon, just trying to scramble away and hold a bit of space. Great close once again. Forsaken and Divide have just been electric at closing out these rounds. Mind Freak 2, actually, the supporting cast of Paper X. One of the things they're doing incredibly well. Kang Kang getting punished a little bit for buying the Operator in the prior. He's only got a Stinger here, two away from a Blade Storm. Meanwhile, something has all the weaponry. It might be about to gift them one, to be honest, as well. He's walking right into three players who... Contact's hooked to the corner, and nobody does. Here we go. It's instantaneous once more, Kang Kang. Anong had his back before eventually going down. Repositions now towards the back of the site! <laughs> he wins that, really? All down to something. If he gets a pick, you might see him pop the Blade Storm and go for this. Jump spot. Oh. He's looking for it. Information. <sighs> something. We granted it, is he? Surely spotted. Dash forwards. Up draft over Zealous. And he's. Well, just gifted the operator right back, as I was saying at the beginning. But EDG, a round in a microcosm. I, it's good to see full strength Paper X, but out. elimination yeah. game still a lot to play for. But we and he's got to see the step up. He's got another opportunity right here as well, Brent. He's got a shorty and a blade storm. If there was anybody to be able to make this round winnable for Paper X and stop the EDG momentum, it would be him. Blinding. Very delayed. Sees paranoia over the top. Something he tried to react fast as soon as the Utah was used towards A main, but it's a great idea. Out. Yep, taken out of the sky. It's a fantastic timing, he's just not hitting. Oh, that is very fortunate. Oh, I mean, Chishu's just got the read that somebody's going to be tucking into that corner, he just spams through the smoke. 
Very disgusting. Yeah, now left to their own devices here. Kang Kang doesn't realize Jing's in the corner. Yeah, Hits somehow, it anyway. Yeah, he'll set it. I mean, yeah. Shouldn't be favored for it, but he hits it. He just is, though, isn't he? He is him. Is it looking like EDG are going to be able to get up to 11 here? Pretty resounding lead on Pearl. And Paper X are struggling to make things happen. Nobody on EDG really playing around the middle of the map. You know, if Paper X want to try and create picks using their Jet and Phoenix, sometimes left. that's going to be with plays like this through B Link or Art. And that's not really where EDG are fighting. GG still was two snake bites as well. It's just delaying them. They know exactly where these players are. They know a ton of noise, the flashes. Connect. A wide though. Gotta hit these, and they do. Okay, pistols. Through of it. Maybe you earn yourself an upgrade, but the plan has Ten to be stuck. Left. What with that? That's a TP right behind them. How long? Trying to put the squeeze. Yep, buying it. A bit of time, a distraction plays. Mind Freak. No health to really do anything at all. Kang Kang with a knife. Single blade did it. What a bold play by Haldon. There was always a chance there that somebody's just waiting around the corner for him to stick the ultimate and just swings instantly. Yeah, for the punish. But I think a really nice crossfire setup because the rest of his team is holding from that underneath area, almost exactly holding the corner. So. Oh, that is really nice shots, though, landing by nobody. A player that had a very rough map one. Like I said earlier, 5 and 15 on Fracture. 0 and 5 in first kill to first deaths. A far, far cry from what nobody was doing the last time we saw him on the big stage. But he's just having a very solid map two with a couple of big moments. It's the round that matters, though. Look at it. State of affairs with the ultimates. Paper X, plenty of them to use and dish out now. They have to win it. Why is EDG going to be put back up to map point? The flash did not catch on to Kang Kong. Kang. Flicks down. Actually, okay, dashing straight into the box. Catching him out into the open. Nana Swarm's here, vulnerable up by Jing. Stunned into the corner. Can't claim the kill, even with the ult. Get back. That call is gained. Playing on side is a risky business here. Nobody still has the nightfall. And they have massive ultimates to be able to close this out still. Yeah, I would love to see a lockdown being used by Forsaken still, but looks I think like it's a great idea. It. Nightfall used. He's not going for it. Oh, Blazer. It's a bit prior as well. Going to be able to hear these sound cues. Still working into the back of Halls. Weaving in and out of the smoke. Something is standing it. No, spam down in the midst of all of this. And I think this lockdown might be a little bit too late. They've already gained access to it still. It's going to come down to an absolute spam battle. Top of the box. Predicted. And there's no attempt to try and fight over this one. Deleted. Stand corrected, lockdown, precisely when they needed it. Now there's definitely no time to win this one out. So, overwhelming force of the ultimates. That's really what grants Paper X that win. And honestly, also a perfect timing with the lockdown. Yeah. Uh, as much as we were looking for it to come a little earlier, you know, Forsaken knows best. He pops down that lockdown, and Jing, instead of using his Phoenix Molly to, you know, have some kind of post plant utility, he throws it down to stop them contesting the lockdown. It goes inside the Omen Smoke. Look at that. How are you going to get through? Good luck. Not happening. So Paper Rex, pick one up. And draw this within four. They had to use a lot to get there. So far, EDG have been more than in control. Here's another Both big clash. On B, Paper Rex looking like they want to set up just for a Cosmic Divide hit onto the B site. EDG are going to challenge it with a bit of a trap play, actually. So C is being used as soon as the flash is sent flying off to the side here. Caught. Out in the open behind the screens, fight one. How long? Falling. You give this up? The answer is yes, but nobody's been just left out to dry. He doesn't have an escape mechanism. Kang Kang. Feels like he has to do something in that instance when they've lost so many players. Major fights won by Paper X there. Great idea from EDG, and they're still oh. going to be able to pick up Jing and make potentially a goal of this. Shushu looks like he's backing all the way off that. He's saving. Has to. <sighs> Smoggy can still prod potentially because. It's only Chishu that wouldn't oh, be able to buy. I would but like to see Smoggy Prod. He's one away from the ult. Yeah, potentially that could be a great decision there for EDG, but they're just going to maximize the weaponry instead. Here. I actually really like the idea Here. from EDG too. They have, you know, if Paper X decide to use a Cloud Burst or a Recall Star to try and cross over towards B, there was a Seize for anybody that would be walking through the smoke, a Paranoia for them to try and get aggressive onto them. And instead, we see big results from something. Entrying around the corner, great counter utility being thrown towards Pillar, and Paper X barrel forwards. They even managed to save that Cosmic Divide, so it's usable for the next round.
And at this point, Paper X are having great success on B. Just start sending it. <laughs> Look how nice that is, though. You have Trailblazer into a pull, oh into a Nana Swarm. The on-the-fly utility that Paper X throws, it feels like set plays, even when they're just cooking it up on the fly. They're so well coordinated with the micro. I mean, it's gonna go B again. At the barrier, 4-1 split. Saken's job to watch mid here, nobody. Needs to get out alive, it's really quite critical. He's playing close to the pillar though, how does he escape this flash in his face? This is such a weird position to play, I mean, he's really got no way to get out, and yeah, he's That's, caught down. That is not the most intelligent play that we've seen nobody go for, and he is a player that likes to go high risk, high reward, but he's got no exit strategy there at all. Really strange, Cosmic Divide to be used, drop down, explode the site once more, Paranoia, it's fast, EDG, look at the fight towards the backside of Hall's flash in the face from Jing up top onto the box, needs to be watched for. Space wasn't given up, Jing, just walking up onto these angles. Dangerous game he is playing. Tap onto it. Hang with the dash back towards Halls here. What is the play here for EDG? Smokes. It's more. Gonna be used to split this one up. A tap onto the plan as well. Seeing if they can make EDG overstep themselves, but they're all reloading! <laughs> and it's prime for the taking! Jing with the Phoenix Ace. Alt online, tactical timeout instantly. Hit the red button. There's problems here, starting from the very beginning, with the way that nobody was positioned. I mean, that's so smart. And Jing, he does this play. Smokes are dropped down. They tap the spike, I think, about three or four times during the midst of this. <laughs> and it forces them to spam all their bullets, trying to get a cheeky Perex are massively favored to win this round as well, and get the score back to 10 to 11. What is going on with the economy right now? It's all over the place. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to afford to buy this one, but I mean, I guess the loser's bonus is kicking in at this point. Yeah, but even, even so, I mean, unless nobody literally buys not a single thing. Now the swarm up top there. Lovely. <laughs> Paper X, they don't mix it up, man. Then Baroque don't fix it, so. Already using the util. That's just going to be for the Nano Swarm and the Alarm Bot. It's in the usual spot. That Molly lands a Chichu. Can't fight this one. Flash with the Trailblazer. It's all coordinated together towards the back, though. There's a judge waiting for them. Do they dare step? Do they dare venture? Kang Kang falls. It's Paper X in control. Lovely response. Ready for it. And something Whoa! in their faces. Here I stand. He screams it at them. What a vintage something play. He loves going for stuff like that. The Love shorty it. just his favored weapon of choice. And I was asking for a moment like that because it feels like he's found it a little tough to get the value. Sure, this one, a little bit of an, an anti-eco kind of situation, but you know, Smoggy had the weaponry to try and do something and he got his ankles broken. Brutalized, man. Something, uh, he needed that, I think, for confidence. Get him back into it. He's not even even yet in terms of the kills, but he's the playmaker he can be. This round is everything for EDG. And their economy is not in a good spot here. And they've used a Viper's Pit to lock down B right I, from the start. I actually quite like this pit as well. It cuts off the common angle where you want to use your lockdown. So Forsaken's got this one, but they have to clear out the pit if they want to use it. it. Makes it so difficult for them to just hit B. But look at the Alarm Bot. The Alarm Bot is lovely from Forsaken. You wouldn't believe that he's only just become a sentinel yeah. player. And in fact, they're using the lockdown just to clear the Viper from the pit, perhaps? Yeah, I mean... No, they've decided better of it. Someone with the counter call. Seems like a low value play, but let's head it back over here now. Okay, does want to go for it. I, I feel like that's a pretty reasonable idea, to be honest. Countered instantly. Yeah. No one can really take the space up. Jing is getting brutalized. Burnt to a crisp there. Tons of utility. Just meant for the ult. The lockdown's exchanged. Kang Kang. He falls. Two players detained. I mean, there needs to be a defense here. Definitely players watching his back. Something tucked to the corner. Chichu was baited into it. Thought he was alone. Not quite. What an insane play to make in the moment here. Dog forwards. Smoggy spotted. And again, it's being approached from every perceivable angle. He cannot do it. Not alone. Nobody in Haodong. At this point, 
almost forced it to save here, but it's brutal, man. It's going to be 11 to 11. It's an absolute disaster for EDG. They're not even able to save a single weapon into it. Sure, the score is tied, but that's not the way that this map is currently going. It's five in a row for Paper Rex and an economy advantage heading into the final round. Oh, sorry, heading into the next round. <laughs> yeah, two more in regular time. Yeah, the money situation is weird. EDG losing their grip for it all in. We're right back into it. But this is so tough for Chishu. Smoggy is catching. First sign of utility. Immediately respects it by backing away here. Still has Nana Swarms again, but they're placed. Just a single Nana Swarm actually breaks the alarm, but still two remaining. Onto the site, deading them now. The wall to cut across, but the site has been given up in its entirety. The Lamba, Divide, tapping. Now sticking, but a plan. It's going to be this scenario for EDG. You're going to have to try and play this one into the retake. Not the weapon. Kang Kang has everything to do into the corner. Dash is there. Here's the footsteps. Beautiful kill. Does he commit to this one a bit further? Tap. Forcing out the U-tilt. rest of his team fighting for it, but they contain the flank and they bring them all down. Two left standing once more. Can Chichu even find a rifle in the midst of all of this? They haven't even got the pull out. Paper X, so many layers, not even using it actually. I mean, Mind Freak's dead Mind at the moment, This is my grip on reality here, but Forsaken is not. It's 12 to 11. And one of the most critical kills in that round is something winning the jet head to head on the flank to stop the threat that is Kong Kong. Kang Kang playing the defensive side jet, got up to 20 kills quite a while ago, and since then has only really been able to put one on the board. Created a threat, but the rest of the team just couldn't capitalize. Paper Rex, six in a row, have just stolen the lead from EDG and now are on match point. EDG with a horrendous buy as Paper Rex continue to just hammer it home into B over and over again. There needs to be an answer, something to push them back. So many players out in the open. It's something plucked out of the sky. Jing, close to the corner. Can't get a clean fight whatsoever here. Still, there needs to be a fight being taken by them. Forsaken. It's the last one left here, but this is EDG with everything to play for. Spikes there, swinging wide. Kang Kang. Brings it to 12, brings it to OT. After six in a row. EDG finally come up with the answer to be able to save this series. It's just a brawl. Here. The players defending, taking duels down B long. <laughs> a ridiculous aim duel. So overtime it is. Who does this favor? Forsaken's picked up an Odin defending over towards B. Don't know what kind of areas he's thinking of spamming there. Do you remember these clashes in A-Main, Brent? We've oh, yeah. seen them so many times on EDG's attack half. Round Here it comes. Resulting in a coin flip almost. TP pass the box. Paper X have been favored when they wait out this util and then they re-hit it afterwards. They're doing the exact same again. EDG, they need to be a bit better for this one. Jing, he was not blinded up, but how long hits the transfer? At least the spray down. All five players from Paper X grouped up Fully here. grouped up, fully rotated. They want to make another go of this one. Fighting into it, they all topple. And no one can withstand it. That's how the round ends, but EDG find themselves Switching at that point. Can they hold on? Can they close out? They haven't had a map point at any point. But they were at 11 for so long. The players just woke up here towards the end. The individuals were popping in those moments. They just took duels and won them. This has been the key in the last two continued to barrel through even when the Killjoy's dead. It feels like Blinker Vision a little. Kankan -Kan picks up an operator though, heading into this to try and close things out for EDG. He's watching and B. send us to bind. Yep, he's watching B. That's where the spike is. It's gonna be a smoke in his face most likely, or at least a wall, something to block off this angle. Flash. The record smoke. Kankan -Kan now. 
It's like wondering if they have crossed. We know differently, of course. How long has got a paranoia? Play. Yeah, it's off the uh, the alarm bot through double doors, but presumably no he's one. also going to pull off as soon as the turret takes contact. And in fact, after 20 seconds pass, he decides to just drift over there anyway. There it is. Does he let it rip? Does he let it loose? Turret's already broken, grouped up, Paper X almost in their entirety here, split up, they've taken a main control, Paranoia, re-clearance, fight, something was out of position for it, but he still loses that one, and for main, it's struck, Paper X, they pick their timings, they pick it well, they collapse the trap back on top of EDG, and this is almost certainly going to another round of OT, unless Kang Kang can pull out the impossible. Last cannon, no armor, just the operator. One smoke. Too many angles to watch. And look at that. I mean, they are not letting him get away with anything. Not a chance. What a round from Paper Rex. It's a great work there to avoid that trap from coming through. I mean, something's the first death. But he's also playing anti flash, ready to swing. And the rest capitalize. You know, Mind Freak is there, ready to stop the second wave of the push coming through. And the reaction from the A main players is instant and excellent. No streaks of rounds happening here. Back and forth. And no major clash happening at one side of the map or the other. Though Paper X are stacking four towards A, it's not for a fight on the extremity to begin. Forsaken hasn't even different. used his turret or alarm bot yet. He, he's waiting to deploy them in case EDG just run to A. Run to A or even just use utility to clear it. Maybe just waiting to see if there was a snake bite or an Ana swarm pulled out of them. Which there wasn't. EDG still have all of them intact. Mid control gained. Here's the Careful. change in pace. I mean, we haven't seen mid explore too much. EDG only prodding with two players. It feels like both teams are very scared of any chance of trap plays. Does this Prowler catch? It does not, and something's something got a chance. Back on the line. Here we go! Adjustment with the micro-aim. Jing's there. Immediately to push them back away from Art. This is EDG into the side flash. How wide. Kang Kang surviving a little bit too long. But Paper X finish it. It's the duelist players with something and Jing that close the door on EDG in that round. Excellent play by something over in A main and Jing picked his timing to try and fight towards Art beautifully too. Usually it's the rest of the squad kind of setting these guys up for success. And here, just decided to take the fight themselves. Those three players dropped before you could even blink. And Forsaken's shaking with the anticipation of being able to put this team away. What a comeback this would be. Paper Rex. They have a match point to work with. Look at this timeline, man. String of rounds, they've got one more round, we'll do it. Once more, bringing it back away from EDG. It's heartbreak for them. Paper X. Got to sail the way to that 2-0. This is the beginning of it. Turret's broken. Dash forwards from something, really, now. These anchoring players are going to have the most to do. It's Chichu and Smoggy. Here, the util being used. They know they've lost control of mid at the same time. It's forced rotations away, but it's just slowed down a tad, and now you're going to see it. Sped up once more. Smoke dropped down to try and get them in. Smokey into the back of Hors, him and Chichu have finally done it. Time has been purchased and bought. And Forsaken to 1v3. Does have the spike and lots of time, yet chooses to take the fight anyway through them. It's watched for 14 14. Said it was those again. anchoring players, Josh. They had the most to do and they did it. What a step up. Feels like both of these teams are just trying to get into position for large execs onto sites at this point. Going for a bit of a contact play and then deciding to burst through. Awesome fights from Smoggy there. And now, situation reset. You can see what it means on both sides. EDG fighting for survival here. Not an elimination match, but survival in the match itself to head over to Bind. We have an operator on both sides and both jets are heading towards each other. Scenes, Prowler catching. Something there is just waiting for somebody to peek off the back of the Prowler. That's why he takes it full to the face. He's waiting though, retreated towards the back of the side. Paper X are looking into mid. It's a reclaim with the flash. That is risky from Jing. Lots of 
positions where you can play anti-flash and EDG, look at this mid-round response. Contacting up and re-clearing, they hit the head straight through the wall. Jing is weakened, Molly at his feet. Another flash as well as the second one used here and he is in a bit of danger. There's a pull, used to support him. At the feet, nobody can really scale particularly fast. Kang Kang now still with a dash, hits the lamppost. Whoa. Oh, there, clearing the way over the top. Not missing well, shots, the bullet's not hitting. Paper X in a commanding control of every single area. And the rotates are just coming through so quickly. As soon as EDG show their hand and realize that they want to commit through art, everybody from Paper X is there. There is no thought that there could be a lurker causing pressure on the other side or some kind of feint happening. Both teams realizing that the other is going to be one dimensional in these moments when the pressure is the highest and everyone from Paper X collapses. It is whiffy too from Kang Kang, who decided at the final moment not to go for an operator and pick up the rifle. Now, once again, heading into the next, both Jets are going to have rifles again. A Paper X with another chance of being able to close things out. They have been hammering B hits home time and again. This one looks slightly different with something in mind free coming from B Link. But again, it puts all the pressure on the shoulders of Haodong. This time, Kang Kang joins him. Haodong's, Smoggy. Haodong's holding another paranoia oh, yeah. when he uses it early. He doesn't cross, they know his position today. He has to TP to get out of here. They're gonna use Yuto to clear him. Inside, Whoa. Link! Come jump in the dash, it does not work out, Smoggy! He shuts that down. One avenue, not watched for, but still the wall allows them to cross. Stun is there, out in the open. Paper Rex, it's all forsaken! He's earned himself the lockdown. This is disastrous. The I mean, brilliant, plays. man. The anchoring players were struggling so much to be able to capitalize on what had happened in B-Link. They just got stuck inside the site for seconds, about to drop 30 and close this out for Paper X. Jing wants to fight! Wants to fight, flash what? connects! Chichu's blinded! Still hits it, still brings him down, two versus two. Position's got to be known, sees no connection, spam through, but a crossfire is too damn good! And it's Paper X completing the run back. They're making playoffs in a 2-0 fashion. What a performance from Paper X here today.